guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do a quick flip through of my new personal junk journal. This is the junk journal that we just found in the last video with the Coptic stitch. And as promised, I'm also going to announce the winner of the giveaway and this lovely tin here. And I will do that at the end of this video, so make sure to stay tuned. Hey guys, so I am I am doing this at night. Uh, I worked late today and I didn't have a chance to record this video during the daylight. So I hope that the lighting is okay and it doesn't bother you too much. I don't have a lot of money for fancy lights, so this is what I get. Um, okay, so this is the journal that I just finished in the last video and we bound it together. And I just wanted to run through it real quick and show you guys what I've done to the inside. This is the front cover that we created in part one of the mini series and the back cover that we also created. And then if you saw the video with the cover construction, then you saw that this was a mailer and I have covered it with a piece of scrapbook paper. And this is what I really like about the Coptic stitch is it folds flat. So no matter where I am in the book, it's going to lay flat. So that is one of the benefits to having a Coptic stitch like this instead of like your typical pamphlet stitch or something like that. So I haven't actually not put this down yet on the paper, but I'm planning on putting that there. I just thought that was cute. Uh, I've got my little runner bead here on this page. And then, whoops, I skipped a page already. Um, just a little bit of sewing everywhere, wherever I could, just randomly. I put this little owl down because I thought he was cute, and you can actually slip stuff behind there as well. Uh, I did a little bit of hand sewing just for fun. Um, we did this in part two, I believe, where we put all the, t no, that was part three, where we put all the tabs on the pages. And I did add a few other little pieces of ephemera to the inside just here and there. A lot of this book is just tea dyed paper. I have put a lot of pieces of scrapbook paper that I thought were pretty. Uh, several pockets here and here. This is the prettiest card ever. Done a little bit of collaging and stamping on the inside here. And I have tried to make this as grungy as possible, so I took some spray inks and just kind of sprayed around wherever I could. I actually sprayed this side and then it came through on this side, so I, I really like the way that looks. And then I just smudged some paint here and there. This I used some paint on a stencil and stenciled on some words. This is another little pocket back here. And then I have sewn on this little ship picture. And this as well. Just for fun. Not for any specific purpose. There's a pocket right there. And then one of our little soda cap tabs. I really like how all of the strings are just kind of wherever, wherever they ended up and I didn't cut them all down. I just, I like the way it looks. <laughs> um, this is actually falling apart on me right now. It is just ripping up. So I'm going to probably have to reinforce this somehow. But there is a giant card on the inside of it. I thought these were cute because they're all in like little winter clothes. And 
another pocket back here. This page I intentionally ripped. I just want it to look grungier. Everything was just so nice and straight and I felt like it needed to be ripped. <laughs> Here's a pocket here. Done some more paint smudging and stamping. Big pocket here. I just sewed on this little transparent paper. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that yet, but I like kind of working around things like this on the page. I just think it's fun to try to figure out what I'm gonna do with it. More paint splatter here. More stamping. Did a little bit of stenciling here with some Distress Oxide. This is a belly band. Other side of that pocket. More stenciling. And then here's a pocket here as well, and I just put this little journaling card in there. One of my favorite journaling cards. I'm obsessed with keys. <laughs> a book page about mushrooms, and done a little bit of just smudging, paint smudging on here, some stenciling. And this little girl, I love her. <laughs> She's so cute. Do a little flip up there. And some, some more stencil in here. More paint smudging. And done a little pocket at the bottom here. Another pocket here. These kind of pockets I will eventually fill. I, I just don't, I didn't want to put as many envelopes as I normally do in my journals because I don't know what to put in them and I struggle with that. <laughs> so this journal I did a little bit differently. I put this little tag here. I love this seahorse. I don't know where I got this from, but I have been hoarding it, and so I decided I'm finally going to use it. Uh, so there's nothing on the back, and I could do a little bit of journaling on there or something. And I sewed this at the top of this page, just another little piece of ephemera. Done some random sewing in the middle of the pages. I I just, uh, this page I actually s ripped and then sewed back up. I just like the way it looks. It just added to the grunge factor. Another pocket back here. And then here's a pocket. And I just put this, I really want to use this. I'm, I'm not sure where I got this from. It's probably some Project Life something or other, but it folds up and it has a little envelope on the other side. So I wanted to use that because I think I can figure out what to do with that some at some point. And then I'm going to attach this. I just have not quite figured out how I want to do that yet. So that is just kind of stuck in here until I figure out what I want to do. <laughs> Some more sewing through the page. Just as random as I possibly could. Here's another little tuck spot on the side. More paint smudging, stenciling. 
This is actually meant to be a pocket, and I never finished it, but I kind of, I don't know if I want to. <laughs> so I'm going to leave that as it is for now. I may glue it later, I'm not sure. And same with this side. And then I stuck this little card in here with the seahorse that I stuck on the front. And it says daisies. I love this card. I've been hoarding this card too. <laughs> and I did stick this down, so this is just a pocket on the inside here. Some more stenciling. And this is a little pocket that I made out of a bunch of fabric that I had left over. And I just happen to have this little chair uh, or love seat, I guess, cut out of this fabric. So I stuck that on the front. And I think that's pretty cool. And there's our little milk carton cap. Some more uh, collaging with map pages. This is for Roswell, New Mexico, which, if you know me, is it's appropriate. <laughs> Not that I'm an alien, just that I'm, I'm a physicist, and that's kind of my thing. So if you didn't know, now you know. That's what I like to do. I'm, I'm a physics geek. And that's what I go to school for. So anything science related, and I'm all over it. Here is our little belt buckle. And I want to put something here, but I don't know what yet. So I may, like, put fabric here or something. I'm... I'm not sure, but for now, I'm just going to let that chill there. I think eventually, well, I know eventually I'm going to hang something from this. I just, um, I haven't quite gotten to that point yet. Um, just some more paint smudging here. And then on to the last signature. This is probably my most put together pretty signature. There's a little belly band there. Another intentionally ripped page and some more paint splatter. This is a really pretty page out of a really old Life magazine. I think it was from the 30s. So beautiful. So I put that in there. And this flips up, and we have the little girls at the pet shop because I live in a zoo. Not really, but my house is full of animals. Some more interesting sewing. I was trying to make a spiral, and then it just got caught on me, so it's still cool. I don't care. I did some stamping on vellum. I think that looks really cool. And then some more paint. I just rubbed paint wherever I, I felt like it would look cool. Here's the other side of that belly band. And then that is the back of the book. And then I also covered the back cover with uh, the same paper as I did in the front. And I didn't necessarily have to do that. I just happened to have several pages of that specific color. So I did. And that is it. What I didn't show you in the, in the binding video is that I completely screwed up my binding at the very end and forgot to loop it under one of these uh, previous chain knots. <laughs> so I had to take it all out and redo it. And when I did that, I... I added an extra, this is probably easier to see in the dark, I added an extra line up here just to make this line longer, 
So I, I had uh, extra holes in the front and back cover to make the, to extend this line out, if you will. But I completely forgot to do it at these two locations. So <laughs> there's that. And then in the beginning, when I first punched the holes through the covers, I punched the holes through this side of the back cover and not this side. So there are holes <laughs> in the cover. But I think it just adds to the effect. I, I didn't make this journal thinking it was going to be perfect. My Actually, my intention was that it not be perfect at all. So I think it turned out really well. I may do some more stuff to it later, and I will definitely bring you along for that journey. And um, you can look forward to watching some junk journal with me's in this journal starting uh, the next time we do a junk journal with me which will probably be soon because I have a lot of plans for the next few weeks. So um, we can definitely look forward to that. And I know that you have certainly been looking forward to finding out who is the winner of the giveaway. So I have a hat here, and I don't have many names, so you have pretty good chances if you're in here. Okay, so let's choose a name. Okay, now before I read this, um, I just want to mention that if you are chosen as the winner, I'm going to leave my email in the description box below. And all you need to do is email me and let me know uh, where I need to send it. And I will ship this out within the next couple of days. Just give me a little bit of time um, to get a box for it and all that good stuff and make sure it's packaged properly. And I will send it out um, for sure by the end of this week. And okay. So, I know you are excited. I'm excited. <laughs> and let's see who won. Gracie, you are the winner. Like I said, just email me and let me know where I need to send it. And I will ship it out to you by the end of the week. I hope you enjoyed the new journal. And if I didn't get you this time for the giveaway, then I promise that I will have more in the future. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.